This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the tech show where you can ask any question you have from the world of consumer electronics. Not sure if that fancy new iPad's worth the upgrade, don't know what phone you should get, not sure what laptop might be in your future. This is where you go ahead and ask. On this week's Ask the Buffalo, we're going to talk some Windows Phone. Of course, we're going to talk about the new iPad. We're going to talk about new MacBook Pros potentially coming out and everything in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. First question comes from Jonathan Land. He wants to talk about Windows 8. He asks, hi. Hi, Jonathan. Do you think Windows 8 will be a commercial success? Yes, absolutely. Regardless of where you fall on Mac versus PC, Windows is still the dominant operating system in the desktop and laptop space. So yes, anything Windows is going to be a commercial success. And it also looks like Microsoft really got their act together in the design department. I love the Metro UI. It's going to be a great translation over to tablets. So absolutely, I think Windows 8 is going to be a giant commercial success. And they'll probably win some fans over from the Apple camp as well, which hasn't happened for a few years. All right, so our next question comes from username see that gerbil. He asked, when do you think the Lumia 9 900 will launch and do you recommend it? We saw the Lumia 900 at CES, at and announced they're going to be carrying it. We're hearing rumors of early April-ish time frame. Yes, I absolutely recommend it. I'm a big fan of Windows Phone 7, gorgeous 4.3 inch display, the Nokia industrial design. It's a great phone, actually probably going to be the next phone that I'm going to carry with me. Go from the Galaxy Note to the Lumia 900. So absolutely, I definitely recommend the Lumia 900 coming hopefully in early April-ish. So our next question comes from Renee who wants some help picking the next phone. Renee asks, hey John, I get to pick out a new phone within two weeks. I'm definitely looking at an HTC. Should I get the HTC Sensation XE or be a little bit more patient and wait for the HTC One X? This one's very clear. Definitely wait for the One X. I'm not sure where in the world you are. If you're outside of the US, then you definitely want that quad core action. If you're inside of the US, you're going to want to wait for the dual core LTE variant on AT&T. That's the phone to wait for. That's the one that you really want to get. So many Android phones come out one after another. Very rarely is there a big difference. But between the current line of phones and the HTC One X, there's a huge difference. So that one I can absolutely recommend waiting for. The Sensation XE is a great phone, but the One X is definitely going to be the one to pick up. So our next question comes from D Sutler 28 who asked a question that I have been asking for a while. John, when do you think Ice Cream Sandwich is going to hit the Galaxy Note? The Note is what I've been using as my daily driver, and I want me some ice cream sandwich. I'm sick of living in a gingerbread world. Samsung has said Q1 and now we're in the middle of March. So the right answer is any day now. Uh, we should see ice cream sandwich hit. We saw ice cream sandwich hit uh, international versions of the Galaxy S2. Presumably the code's not going to be incredibly different uh, for the Galaxy Note, so hopefully any day now. So let's take a break from answering all these questions. I want to take a minute to thank our friend, family, and sponsors at Gamefly. You know them, you love them, Gamefly. It is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic game titles across all consoles, whether they're physical ones that you plug into your television, whether or not they are the portable variety. With prices starting at just $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep those games for as long as they like. So if you want to get through Arkham City, you don't have to rush to get through. You can keep it for months and go ahead and send it back when you are done. And if you're a Techno Buffalo fan, Gamefly's got the deal for you. You can get a free 15-day trial of Gamefly and try and play every game you can in that little over two-week period. All you gotta do is go to Gamefly.com slash techno buffalo and you're good to go you let them know that we sent you so next question comes from joanna you think there's going to be an update to the macbook pro line soon if so how significant will the update likely to be uh, we're hearing rumors that updates to the macbook pros are actually already in production now there's been a bit of scuttlebutt i like that word scuttlebutt if um the macbook pros and macbook airlines are going to merge and we'll see a 15 inch MacBook Air, or maybe they'll get rid of the airline, it's all become MacBook Pros. Um, but we're hearing rumors of much, much, much thinner designs. Uh, thicker, 
than the MacBook Air. It's much thinner than the current generation MacBook Pros. And our last question comes from Josh, who wants to talk about the Geneva Auto Show, which we just got back from. Hey, John in Techno Buffalo is wondering what the best car you saw at the Geneva Auto Show was. We saw a ton of awesome cars. We had unprecedented access to some of the fastest production cars ever. We sat right next to the Aventador J. I sat on the Pagani Huayra and had a chance to interview Horatio Pagani. But for me, the car that stole the show was a BMW i8. That thing is incredible. Certainly, it's a little bit on the expensive side, over $100,000, but 94 miles per gallon, 20 miles on just electric power, zero to 60 time in like a crazy, I think it was four-ish seconds. It looks like a future car is actually going to hit the road. So that was certainly the highlight for me, the supercars. You know, certainly were incredible to see. Thank you all for checking out another episode of Ask the Buffalo. We are back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new episodes here on Revision 3. We've got What's the Apps on Wednesday, hosted by our own John Quatch. We've got Rumor Roundup, where we round up all the rumors by our own Noah Kravitz on Friday. Be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for all the latest tech news, unboxing, and reviews. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video. Does it get any more nerdy than this? All I need is like the tape in the middle and I would be the world's biggest nerd.